Welcome back guys, uh, another video for you. Quickly gloss over everything that we've been up to this week. The first thing, we've had a, a lovely dry week for the majority of the week apart from yesterday. Going on from, you know, all that heavy rainfall in March. Thought it'd be quite interesting for you just to see the total figures and all the data from March. So I'll pop that on the screen now. If you want to have a look at that, then pause the video and examine all the data that we've collected over the month. You'll see it's over 100 mil of rain, so plenty of moisture in the ground still, but the course is drying out nicely, which is good. So with the course drying out, I know we've still got a little bit of rain about, but we've managed to get a full cutout on the course, which is excellent. So it's starting to look more like a golf club each passing week. That involves three cuts on the tees, two on the approaches, one on the tee bank, two cuts on fairways and one on semi. And then the rough has had a complete cut as well, which is excellent stuff. I hope this goes without saying, but our machines are not hovercrafts. They do have wheels on them. It's still muddy in places. There will be some signs of tire marks out on the course. So the boys have done an excellent job navigating this tough time. The damage is minimal and this time of year, you know, the recovery is going to be excellent anyway. So the boys have been instructed to avoid all the muddy areas. And I know at some times this can't be avoided but we do our best to minimize the amount of damage that we cause with these tire marks. Surface is drying up. We are nudging heights of cut down progressively throughout the week. We're now pretty happy with the levels they're at. This has also allowed us to really switch on and focus on performance mode. So we started stimping our greens and each week I'm gonna be putting the stimps for the week for you in these videos, because I think it might be quite interesting for you to see, you know, how we track and manage them. So you can see from the first stints this week, which was Wednesday, there's quite a bit of difference between 16 and 11. The reason for this is have two different types of greens, so we need two different measurements. We have the USGA spec sand greens, so that's everything in the jockey field, and then on the common, we have clay push-ups, which I actually prefer, but they take a little bit longer to get growing because clay soil takes longer to warm up than sand soil, so that's why you know, you've got a little bit more grass coverage out on the field and potentially why they're rolling a little bit better. So each week we'll monitor them, we can show you the results and then, you know, the job is to balance these out as effectively as possible. The bunkers have had some much needed TLC with a strim, blow and sand re-level. And they are looking sharp heading into the weekend. And we've got some mould trouble that we're dealing with very quickly uh, on our 13th green. So just to make you aware of that as well. Right, so with bird damage, we've repaired some areas. The birds are actually still at it. I know I made a video saying that they, they look like they'd finished, but there's still areas which they are pecking at. Uh, and we're monitoring this and repairing them as, as frequently as possible. Still some areas to finish off as well. Hi guys, Sam here. Just want to film a quick video about irrigation auditing and the reasons behind why we do it. I'm not sure if any of you saw me last week, but I was out firing up sprinkler heads. I know the conditions weren't ideal, but it's a job that needs to be done now rather than later because you never know when you're going to need your irrigation system until you need it. So first things first, I will go up to a sprinkler and I will trim it up, clear out all the sand, any debris. Then I'll lift the head up and check for any imperfections or any damaged parts. Then if that's all good, I will fire it up and check it's working correctly. We'll look at the arc the trajectory, the nozzle color, it's all good. I will write down on my data sheet, ready to input on the Baylor system. But after checking it all lines up on our system, I'll move on to the next one, simple as that. We've also began tweaking areas out in the course. There's some areas that we'll be cutting out, some areas we'll be bringing in, and we will continue to do this over the coming weeks. The reason for this is to make it enjoyable for all playing ability, so it can be you know, challenging, yet enjoyable, and in some cases easier as well. And we will continue to do this work over the next coming weeks. So something that I thought would be useful to make you aware of is we have six members of staff. Hopefully you've, you've met all of them in the previous video we did when uh, I first took over. Four qualified greenkeepers and two unqualified greenkeepers. And sometimes out in the course, you'll see two greenkeepers doing a job that requires one person. Reason for that is they need training, simple as. It's not safe to let them go out on their own yet. They're still learning the course. They're still learning the job. It's a very dangerous job at times and there's a, a huge risk involved at, at certain occasions. So the training needs to be spot on. We need to make sure our guys are safe and also that the, the work is being done properly and there's a standard that they need to meet. So that is the reason for you seeing multiple greenkeepers doing one job. Hopefully you've watched Greg's monthly update. Now it's really just dialing in, getting ready for the playing season, which we say starts in the 1st of May. There's still lots of work to be done and following on from this, I'm gonna put a big job list of everything we're hoping to achieve in the next few weeks. But the boys have worked really hard to get the course set up and playing like a proper golf course for this bank holiday weekend as well. And I hope you all have a fantastic Easter 
and we will catch you next week uh, for some more golf and more work out on the course.